is going to transfer, uh, he has to get a release first, okay, prior to all of the dialogue. Uh, right now, uh, the Penn State players, uh, they're the same as any other recruit that would, was in high school right now. It's, it's an open market, you know, and, and so it's, it's open recruiting. You know, uh, the NCAA has, has published, you know, the rules that, have, that are, are guiding this uh, re recruiting uh, period right now. And it's about three pages of it. And you can go online and read it, and you'll, you'll see it all right there in the, in the documents. Is a deadline in my mind when we need to stop, or is there a legal deadline? Yeah, I don't know if August 5th or 6th is a uh, documented deadline or not. I heard that you were able to uh, communicate and make phone calls, unlimited phone calls, uh, to, to the latter days of August. I believe August 26th or August 27th. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how long this recruiting uh, liberty is, is going to last. I know it's live right now. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, he's he's the head football coach and. And uh, he has a he has a football team to get ready to play this season, you know. So that I'm sure that's where his focus is going to be at. Uh, you know, a couple of years ago, Southern Cal was in a similar situation where you know they had uh, some uh, sanctions, you know, by the NCAA, and and their their team was able to pull together and, and probably emerge as a, as a stronger team in a lot of ways. And uh, Coach O'Brien has been part of one of the greatest uh, football franchises in the history of of football. Uh, the uh, 49. Uh, I'm sorry. The New England Patriots have won uh, more games in the last several years than any other uh, franchise in the league. You know, so he's an outstanding football coach. He'll get his team ready to go. He's an excellent leader. He'll he'll pull them all together. In some ways, they'll they'll strengthen some as a team. Uh, they, they may lose some players or two. I, I don't know. You know what the overall big impact will be, but he he he'll, he'll certainly uh, do everything he can to, to pull it all together and do a great job of, of coaching. We are ready for a big year at our place, absolutely. That's really glad that you got on to uh, Purdue and, and football and playing games and players. I really, I really appreciate that. Well, I'm excited about our players. We have a lot of good players coming back, uh, guys that are really hungry to win. We have a very strong and uh, potentially dominant defensive front, several very good defensive linemen. Uh, we have an experienced, uh, very experienced, very athletic uh, a secondary. We have a very athletic offensive line. We have great speed at our skill positions on offense. We have several class sprinters on the offensive side of the ball. We're a much faster football team now than we were uh, last year or two or three years ago. Uh, we have experienced, proven quarterbacks that are healthy. So I'm excited about the season because of the players. They're always one of the tougher teams in the Big Ten. Uh, we played them to a, a, a heck of a game last year, and we look forward to playing those guys again this year. Uh, I think uh, Coach Ferenc is an outstanding head football coach. They always hang their, their hat on you know, hard-nosed, aggressive football. Uh, they're one of the great teams in the, in the league and one of the great teams in the country, and we're excited about playing them again this year, absolutely. <clears throat> I couldn't hear your question. Well, they have a lot of great athletes and a lot of great players. Uh, last year, they uh, uh, played very well against us, you know, and uh, so we certainly have to step up and, and, and play a lot better. Uh, they have good team speed. They're very good passing the football, potentially. Excellent running the football. They got one of the great athletes, one of the great great athletes in, the, in Division One football at the quarterback position. They made outstanding progress defensively. There probably wasn't a team in Division One football last year that made as much progress as Michigan did from a defensive standpoint. So uh, there will be, be a great challenge and, and one that we're ex excited about.
Well, as far as the defensive line in general, I feel like we should be one of the top defensives in a uh, in the Big Ten, um, moving our way up to the nation. Uh, just as far as young guys, uh, just taking on, you know, following following my lead and and you know, doing what they're capable of doing. Uh, just trying to meet the potential, and you know, going out there every day and trying to be consistent and dominate the person that's in front of them. So just as far as them being young, they still got that hunger, that 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 hum um, humble instinct in them. And when 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 the game clock is ready, well, just the the different personalities and and how everybody you know pays attention to each other and just not focus on one person. So just as far as everybody coming together as a family and and just feeling comfortable around each other and, and just doing what we need to do, you know, picking each other up if we down, uh, just being there for like a brother. So I mean, just as far as just coming back to that, I, I wouldn't change it in the world. Uh, those aren't challenges. Those are blessings. Okay, we're very fortunate to have three really talented quarterbacks, three very experienced quarterbacks, uh, three guys that really care a lot about each other, and we have a, a plan uh, to utilize all three of those guys in our offense throughout the course of the season. Uh, we're very pleased with the development of Caleb Turbush last year. He hadn't played much. Uh, before last season. When it was all said and done, he had started the entire year. He had a winning season. He had thrown for 62% uh, completion. Uh, he did not throw a, a pick in the last four and a half games. Really emerged as a leader. Has really developed himself physically. He's a much bigger, stronger, more confident player now than he was a year ago. Uh, Robert Marv is a fantastic talent. Really has really matured a lot the last couple of years. He's finally healthy. Uh, he got some ex much needed experience in reps last season uh, in the games. Had a, had a big game last year against Ohio State, and that was huge for Robert. He really needed that uh, that, that that win and that experience. Uh, at the end of, the, of spring, I thought his performance was exceptional. He, I thought he was outstanding in the spring game. We're really excited about getting Rob Henry back. He's one of the, the one of the great athletes on our football team. He has really improved a lot as a passer. We didn't uh, have him run a lot of plays in the course of, the sp of, of spring practice. He spent a lot of time throwing individual routes. And he really improved a lot as a passer. He's a good enough athlete to line up anywhere uh, on the field as a skilled player and a guy that you want to get the ball in his hand. So uh, we're in really good shape right now at the quarterback spot. Uh, the first time since I've been the head coach at Purdue that we have healthy, experienced quarterbacks that have won and that are ready to play. Competition and what it really is, it's, it's not, not cutthroat, uh, individualist, uh, it's more of a brotherhood. And we got this thing, uh, the quarterbacks wear green jerseys and we got, we call it gang green. And uh, it's kind of like our own little squad, brotherhood, and we're really there for each other to help each other out whenever we need it and to criticize each other when we need it. I mean, to, to get each other to correct something or whatnot, but when it all comes down to it, um, Whoever plays, it's up to the head, the coaches, and we're fine with that decision because as long as we're winning games, we're happy. So that's all we're all about at Purdue.